boot looping is one of the most frustrating issues when it comes to any iPhone. Your phone will go through something that forces it to restart, and now that it keeps trying to go back to your home screen, it just stays stuck on this Apple logo. But for some reason, it will never leave this position, and after an hour has passed, you've noticed that your iPhone hasn't gotten to your home screen yet. This issue is really frustrating, and many people might be tempted to just visit a repair center to fix it. Well, in this video, we will show you exactly what you can do to bring your device back to working order. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Doctor Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we will be talking about how to back up your phone's data before addressing a full fix for your device. So please make sure to subscribe to our channel because there are lots of new videos coming soon. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1 back up your iPhone before anything. Before doing anything drastic, it is always good to practice to just back up your iPhone in case anything goes wrong. Wondershare Doctor Phone is a great tool for doing just that. Wondershare Doctor Phone is a trusted and user-friendly tool for backing up iPhone data, known for its reliability and versatility. It allows users to selectively back up various data types like contacts and photos, or create full backups with just one click. Compatible with both Mac and Windows, Doctor Phone simplifies the backup process, making it accessible even to those with minimal technical expertise. Its preview feature adds an extra layer of control, making it a go-to solution for safeguarding iPhone data across different iOS versions. Now keep in mind that we will be using the same software for backing up our data and even restoring your iPhone back to working order. So don't worry, because everything will be done in just one place. Now let's talk about how to back up your data in no time. First things first, you have to download Wondershare Doctor Phone by clicking on the link in the description. Once installed, open the software, then look around around in the left side of your screen. Scroll until you see My Backup. Click on it, and from here, you should connect your iPhone to your computer, if you haven't already. Once detected, you will be shown many different types of data that you can back up. You can choose everything if you want to pretty much back up your entire phone, or you can just choose the parts that matter most to you. Once chosen, select Backup Now. Wait for it to finish, and then you will receive a prompt that will tell you that you're done backing up your data. To restore it back to your device later, if needed, just scroll under My Backup to find your iPhone's backup, then select all of the data that you want and click on Restore to Device. Just wait for it to finish and then you should be good to go from there. Part 2. Here's how to fix your iPhone if it is stuck in boot loop. Now we get to the point where we get to address the actual issue and fix your phone. Dr. Phone will do this for you by allowing you to reinstall iOS onto your device and giving it a proper refresh. And Dr. Phone takes care of all of that for you. Once Dr. Phone does its thing, your phone will restart back into its home screen after everything is said and done. So to do this, just follow the steps coming right up. First, open Wondershare Dr. Phone. From here, reach over to the Toolbox tab. From this interface, you must select System Repair, then select iPhone, then select iOS Repair. From here, you have two modes to choose from. Standard Repair addresses a lot of the less of your issues, but should take care of the boot looping for you without deleting any data. However, Advanced Repair is also available to fix the more severe issues, but it will delete your data. For the purposes of this video, we will do Standard Repair. Then you will be prompted to put your device into recovery mode. Just press this button on screen so that Dr. Phone will set your phone into recovery mode for you. Once it has been placed into recovery mode, it will show you the available firmware for you to download. Just download the one on the top of the list, which will be the latest one. From here, the software will download everything for you. Once the download is finished, select Repair Now to fix your iPhone. Once it's done, your iPhone will restart just as expected. And from here, you should have a fully working iPhone once more. Now, thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. And if you liked this video, please make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions down below as well to let us know if these methods ended up working for you. And also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this, the notification bell to stay updated when a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.